One, two, three. After 20 years of restoration efforts, the Trumpeter Swan is showing positive signs of reclaiming its iconic place in Montana. It's the long-term view that we need to be looking at, and with swans being so long-lived, 20 plus years, all we need to do is get a few of them out there nesting and producing young to uh, repopulate this landscape. Historically, trumpeters ranged across much of North America, but beginning in the late 1800s, populations were nearly eradicated by commercial harvest and overhunting. Then 100 years ago, the Migratory Bird Treaty prevented extinction and allowed trumpeter swans to slowly increase. Trumper swans were expanding their territory very, very slowly, but one of the problems was they weren't in the best of the best habitats. Places like the Blackfoot Valley and Mission Valley and Flathead Valley that have these thousands of wetlands on the landscape that we knew could really bump our population of trumper swans. So wildlife managers began releasing trumpeters in the Mission, Blackfoot and Madison Valleys with the goal of establishing breeding pairs that would naturally migrate and expand. And really what I gauge our success on is nesting birds and cygnets that they produce. And so that's really where we're seeing the increase of birds within this landscape. As swans show success on these local landscapes, managers are now broadening the scope and evaluating other areas before they claim the trumpeter restored. If there is the next spot, where is that next spot? And then is there support from the landowners, from the community members to release trumper swans in, in the next landscape in Montana? I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.